Let's consider the two images here to the right. You may see questions asking what type of treatments do these two devices aid in? What is each device called? Is contrast used? And if so, how does that affect the treatment? What are the constraints for air and seroma? And what are the skin and rib constraints? So these treatments or these devices aid in AP, BI, that's accelerated partial breast irradiation. So essentially this is for breast tumors that are locally constrained. After resection, the, these devices are placed in the breast. You were able to put an HDR source through these various applicators and ultimately treat the breast that way. So now what is each of these devices called? So the bottom here is the mammocyte. Let me write that down, mammocyte. It's a single catheter. It can also have multi-lumens now with four channels that can be in here. Uh, there's also the uh, Cantora, which is a five channel vacuum port to remove air and seroma. We also have the up here Savvy. So this is the strut assisted volume implant. That is what SAVI stands for. Now this can be expanded to different diameters. As you see in this picture, some are kind of skinny and not very big and other ones get very large and can take up a lot of volume. So that allows for the highest degree of optimization. It leads to dose underestimation, however, because the center is filled with air so it underestimates dose about three to four percent. Now, is contrast used and how does it affect it? So iodine can be used for contrast in APBIs, and it can lower dose compared to TG43 by three to five percent. However, the prescription does account for this. So now what are the constraints for air and seroma? So both of these need to make up less than 10% of the PTV volume. So that is important to know. And if that isn't the case, you can't use APBI. And that's something a physician and the physicist need to look and decide once they get the CT. And then the skin and rib constraints. Thankfully, these follow the same number, and both of those must be less than 425 centigrade. So that's a basic question about SAVI, APBI, and Mammocyte. Best to dive a little further into those. There'll probably be an additional video about them that I will make as well. But if you have any questions in the meantime, please comment below, and happy studying.